so good afternoon, Katie. I'm with Katie McConkey. Katie is Senior Direct Director of Process Excellence and Change at Inmarsat Global. Uh, just recently, Katie, you've engaged Catalyst to do some uh, consulting work for you where we have been doing recent point interventions. So really the first question is, why did you decide to engage Catalyst to help you with that? Hi, Mark. Yeah, so the reason that um, I decided to use Catalyst to help us with that was um, in the past we've used I've used Catalyst, Catalyst in other environments to help us with some uh, training but what I wanted to do was to help have some additional help around particularly lean thinking, preparing for value stream workshops and have some external input just to guide and frame the work we're doing. Um, Mark's very kindly said that I have a good team of people who know, have a lot of skills in the area of continuous improvement but it's incredibly helpful to have an external uh, pair of eyes and ears and questioning around what you're trying to achieve and make sure that you do all the pre-planning and thinking about objectives for particular in particular workshops and even some of our point training interventions which are not although I'm calling them training they mm. were trying to get a group of um, senior stakeholders up to speed about what this whole thing about Lean Six Sigma process improvement lean thinking is mm -hmm. all about with a view then to that driving some more um, cultural change in the organisation. Okay, how would you say that Catalyst responded to your requirements? I mean, you and I spent quite a lot of time talking about what you wanted before the events and the sessions took place. So, how do you feel we responded to the requirement? So, I think one of the things that I particularly like about working with Catalyst is that um, attention to the preparation and making sure I've got what I need out of the subsequent event or consultancy day or two. So, I was thinking particularly of um, a project I was asked to lead around our inventory uh, processes and Mark you helped me with not just the lean thinking but actually all the workshop um, preparation so some mm -hmm. of the obvious things that I think we all think we know we do in preparing for workshops but you know I remember you asking questions about okay what's the environment going to be like what's the stakeholder group going to be like what's the dynamic in the room how are you going to pace the day how are you going to deal with various things actually nothing to do with the content but all of that was fantastically helpful and we got great feedback about how well prepared we were for the workshop so that attention to detail up front never mind the quality of the actual mm -hmm. work that we're doing um, uh, pays dividends okay and what is the value add that we bring to those situations how would you how would you summarize that so I think um, if I choose the process quest work so this was a, a piece of work that we um, initiative around trying to raise awareness about process excellence so we're quite early on in our journey in um, in Marsat and so I think the event with Mark and Martin um, th the thing that I think really worked well was that it, it, your experience and the practical examples and the inevitable one back that Martin brought along actually made it lively and real and fun and interactive for people. So mm -hmm. it doesn't feel like we're having a textbook rammed down our throat or chalk and talk. It's actually very interactive. And because it was geared towards what we wanted to achieve as an organisation and where we were with a fairly novice group around Lean and so on, mm -hmm. it was very targeted. And we, we managed to move at pace through quite a, a lot of material, which is what I wanted, so we're not getting yes. too stuck in the detail. Also, coming, coming to the uh, lead to order work I was doing with uh, um, uh, Alistair and Ian, um, I thought it was really interesting, the feedback that I got from them was that they felt um, we were able to break some paradigms, that having an external voice allowed uh, things to be said that maybe weren't easy to say from people inside the organisation. Would you, would you agree I, I with that? I think that's very true. Um, I think that, and it's a very nice model, that challenging the paradigms, and I think as you say, however good you are internally, you, you do have that perspective of what's going on today and you conscious of the relationships you have to maintain and not upset a particular um, part of the process and how it works. So mm -hmm. um, I only participated in part of that workshop, but it was clear to me that there were some fairly dramatic um, new ways of thinking happening in that workshop because you sort of gave people permission to do that and, and maybe that is easier from an external Point of view but the other thing that we get feedback on as well is that people like internal and um, facilitation as well so we actually can have the best of both worlds because they feel 
they've got people who understand and know the process or know the, the topic we're working on, but you get that additional um, perspective of some challenge from outside and other industries and what if and mm. asking maybe asking the dumb question, yeah. which of course is not a dumb question, that's easier if you're coming in from outside. I think what's also powerful with that is that uh, Ian and Alistair and I spent the day preparing first, so the three of us had a strong plan, and I think it helped them have confidence of a strong plan. Yeah, and I think, again, it comes back to so much is around the preparation, and I think one of the other things I draw out is that in the, the inventory project that I was doing, I did a lot of preparation, although you weren't there to help mm. us. Um, because we'd done so much preparation, we had the plan of the workshop, but actually we also had a bit of flexibility planned in so knowing that well maybe if that exercise or that um, little session brainstorming doesn't take us where we want to we could try something else or if you get this from doing your connecting um, lines of uh, pain in the process mm. if that gives you enough then you maybe don't need to do your uh, another session so I think the planning is so much is in the planning and it gives you the confidence to be flexible sometimes in these events. Good. Thank you very much, Katie. Thank you.